Edge of AI podcast. Stick around for five minutes and get your dose of current events in today's Edge of AI Dispatch segment powered by Metaverse Post. This is your source for the latest news in cutting edge tech and AI. Today we dive into the launch of Elon Musk's generative AI chatbot, Grok. SAP's new AI offerings to generate code and UK government's 225 million pound investment to create the world's most powerful AI supercomputer. San Francisco and London-based startup Dashtoom recently raised $5 million in a seed funding round to make generative AI technology accessible to storytellers worldwide. Dashtoom's AI platform can generate comic images for tech stories as input, easing comic creation processes such as sketching, coloring, and lettering. Through the new funding, the company aims to advance its AI research, product development, and content production in the coming months. Dashtoon said it aims to empower storytellers of all backrooms and skill levels through generative AI. Elon Musk's artificial intelligence venture XAI launched Grok, a generative AI model that aims to bring humor and the ability to tackle daring questions that other AI systems would shy away from. Currently in beta, Musk said that Grok has real-time access to information via Twitter or X, which is a massive advantage over the other AI models. Grok is expected to provide users with an engaging and informative experience as the AI model can not only answer queries, but also suggest questions. The team behind Grok announced it is hiring for various positions at XAI, from AI researchers to engineers. Musk XAI aims to build AI systems that can help humanity understand the world better. Fashion accessories company Modelux launched an AI-powered virtual try-on and styling platform named Zelig. Zelig's AI technology enables consumers to visualize how clothes, shoes, and accessories look on their body type as they shop online. The technology uses a combination of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and computer vision. Zelig users can create different outfit combinations and then save them to their profile or share them before purchasing complete looks. Modelux also announced that it has raised $15 million in a Series A funding, which now values the pre-revenue company at $100 million. Enterprise application software giant SAP unveiled a series of generative AI offerings to empower developers, including SAP Build Code Solutions, a vector engine on SAP HANA Cloud, and a generative AI hub with its AI core. The announcement was made at the SAP's Tech Ed event in Bangalore, India. SAP said that its latest offerings are equipped with AI-powered productivity tools designed for developers and are integrated with SAP's generative AI co-pilot, Julie. As part of its commitment, commitment to upskill 2 million professionals by 2025, the company will provide role-based certifications and free learning resources to back-end developers. Likewise, business and academic learning platform Cypher Learning announced the launch of AI360, a personalized learning platform featuring generative AI, Cypher Copilot. Cypher Learning said that AI360 with Cypher Copilot aims to empower businesses and educational institutions to swiftly develop timely, relevant, and engaging educational courses. The company asserts that teachers and trainers will benefit from the new platform as it does not require prior AI knowledge. In a conversation with Metaverse Post, Graham Glass, CEO of Cypher Learning, said that using AI360's generative AI, businesses and schools can now create educational courses at speed while making personalized learning a reality. In a recent presentation at the UK's AI Safety Summit, Apollo Research shared significant findings on the deception in AI models, particularly OpenAI's GPT-4. Apollo's study found that when subjected to different pressure levels, GPT-4 consistently engaged in illegal activities like insider trading and was even capable of lying about these actions. According to the firm, it has presented the research to influential figures in government, civil society, and AI laboratories to expose the potential for AI systems to engage in deceptive activities. The discovery that AI systems could lie raised concerns of a loss of human control as AI systems are becoming increasingly autonomous and capable. The UK government, in collaboration with the University of Bristol and Hewlett Packard Enterprises, is investing 225 million pounds to create iSambard AI, the nation's most powerful AI supercomputer. This move is part of a broader 300 million pound initiative aimed at establishing a national artificial intelligence research resource. HPE will build iSambard AI using the next generation HPE Prey X supercomputers and more than 5,000 NVIDIA GH200 super chip. The configuration will enable the supercomputer to perform up to 200 quadrillion calculations per second. The Infocom Media Development Authority of Singapore, in partnership with the AI Verify Foundation, recently launched the Generative AI Evaluation Sandbox. 
The initiative aims to serve as a platform for assessing trusted artificial intelligence products and researching potential gaps in their performance. The Generative AI Evaluation Sandbox will develop a common standard approach for assessing generative AI systems. IMDA said that large language models such as GPT-3 have the potential for both creativity and controversy, making standardized evaluation more critical than ever. That's it for the Edge of AI Dispatch today, your source for the latest news in cutting edge tech and artificial intelligence. This news segment has been powered by Metaverse Post. If you enjoyed today's dispatch, kindly subscribe, rate, and review us on the platform that you are hearing this on. And if you want to dive deeper, check out our Edge of AI podcast featuring captivating conversations with top pioneers in the space, also on Spotify, iTunes, and YouTube. We also invite you to visit edgeofai.xyz to learn more about us and get the direct links to follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. Tune in next time for targeted coverage of the most compelling stories in markets, industry, and culture.